Well, hey everybody, it is Saturday, October 19th. I am on my cousin's porch reading his fridge and looking for interesting sauces to sample free of charge, get some uh, content for the channel that doesn't cost me anything. And I'm gonna try another Melinda's product today. Look at that. Melinda's ghost pepper barbecue sauce. Mm. I have been trying quite a few Melinda's products over the last couple months. Um, they're a great sauce company. I've very rarely been disappointed with their stuff. I did not like, there was like a creamy ghost pepper wing sauce. That was the one thing of theirs that I tried that I didn't like, but their uh, their truffle sauce was just phenomenal. Their, their truffle hot sauce was phenomenal. Better than truff, all right? Better than the one that costs like twice as much as it does. Uh, the Melinda's truffle sauce was exceptional. They have a fire roasted tomato sauce that was quite good too. Um, there were a couple others that I tried. I like I like Melinda's products, so I'm excited about this one. Even though I'm not a big barbecue sauce fan, I have said many times ghost peppers are my favorite of the super hots, so I have high expectations for this. Of course, that is uh, countered. Wow, this is going to blow over. There's quite a, quite a breeze out here. Of course, that's countered by me just saying that I didn't like Melinda's uh, creamy buffalo wing sauce. I don't know what it was about it. I just didn't care for it. Maybe wing sauces and um, ghost peppers don't work together. I think this will be the first ghost pepper barbecue sauce I've ever tried. For two reasons. One of them, I just don't eat that much barbecue sauce. And number two, I just don't think that ghost pepper is typically paired with barbecue sauces. So let's see. I'm interested. I'm very intrigued. Let's see how it is. Actually, let's read about it. Not that. Let's just read the ingredients. White vinegar, cane sugar, tomato paste, brown sugar, water, apple cider vinegar, ghost pepper mash, orange juice, salt, spices, citric acid, xanthan gum, ascorbic acid, caramel color, natural flavors, including cinnamon and clove. Okay, so it's got the warming spices in it. I like that. I like the apple cider vinegar. Love ghost pepper. Love brown sugar and tomato paste. Um, I love orange juice in a, uh, any kind of fruit juice in a, uh, a barbecue sauce can, can be really good in terms of adding some, uh, zest and citrusiness to it, if that's even a word. Let's go. Wow. I think there's, I think there's too much vinegar in that. That is super vinegary. You know, they should have let the they should have. They should have let the tanginess come out more naturally with it, with the the orange juice. So they have white. So the first ingredient is white vinegar, and it has apple cider vinegar in it, and it has orange juice in it. So I'm getting a little bit too much tanginess from that first bite. I don't need that much tanginess. I like my my barbecue sauces to be a little more savory than that. Like I like a little bit of tang, but. Oh, I don't know. I think that's way too tangy for me. It's not overly sweet, I will say that. It's not too sugary. Because that's another problem. I don't like really, really sweet uh, barbecue sauces. I like the smoky, savory ones. This doesn't have any smoke flavoring in it. It's got no chipotle or anything like that. I kind of taste the ghost pepper a little bit, but not very prominently. Nah, that's not very peppery. It's not very peppery. I don't taste the warming spices at all. I cannot taste the cinnamon or the clove in there. There's ground black pepper, garlic, and onion powder. I can't really taste any of those. It's just, the flavor is just completely overwhelmed uh, by the, the amount of vinegar in it. They didn't get this one right. They didn't get this one right. This is meh. Like, it's edible. It's edible. I mean, if it's the only barbecue sauce that you have to put on, you know, um, making like a Texas-style burger with onion rings or whatever, this is all you have, sure, it could be okay on that, but you could do a lot better. Come on. This is too good of a company to put out something this mediocre. I'm really disappointed. Like, genuinely disappointed. I don't know. There must be a certain type of person who's really, really into those really vinegary, zesty, tangy barbecue sauces. I just don't think that that's me. 
just not my style. And I've already said, you know, I'm not a barbecue sauce person in the first place. I didn't like this one. It's not like throw away, throw in the trash bad. So I'm not going to give it a four. All right, so like when you're getting on the lower end of my rating scale, three is just like, it tastes like crap. Two is it's so bad that you would spit it out. And one is it's so bad I'm going to vomit later. And four is like the beginning of like the mediocre, it's like at the lower end of the mediocre range, like like that Nashville hot chicken soup, I gave that a four. Because it wasn't inedible, but it was just like, this is just not exciting in any way, and I have no interest in finishing this bowl of soup. This is a five, so it's like serviceable, but it's just not great in, or exceptional in any way. I don't find the flavor exciting or very pleasant. It's just meh. So that's too bad. But, uh, anyways, that's all I gotta say about that one.